I've always wanted a film camera, but I could never find a reasonably priced one. It's either the way, way too expensive or way too manual for me to understand what any of that means. I searched everywhere all over the internet to try to find a rightfully priced one. And eventually I found one on the Facebook market for 450 guys, 450 rands. Of course I had my doubts about the guy, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna do my research, I'm gonna take it to the rifle people to check it out, and boom, it works just fine. This is the Pentex ME, guys. The Pentex ME is a classic late 1970s camera. It's a basic 35mm film SLR. It has aperture preferred automatic electronic exposure control. You can focus and pick the aperture, and the Pentex ME picks the shutter speed automatically. If you don't know what any of that means, that's okay, dog. I just had to Google how the camera works, so that's that's what Google gave me and boom, here it is on the video. Thing is though, it's easy to get the film camera, but what I found was more difficult to do is finding the actual film that's going to go into the camera. Do you have film in store? No? All right. No film. All right, thanks. Tell me, do you happen to have 35 mil film in store? No, we don't have stock at the moment, eh? I found film, 35mm film. It's a place here in Randburg called Camera Tech. It's a bit expensive, but I think it'll definitely be worth it. There? Film? Yeah. Yo, it's a I have a knife. you are. Thank you very much. This is 900 Rand I was not expecting to spend today. I did it anyway. I checked everywhere else. They didn't have that. The cheapest prices. Photo for us goes for like 160 for like an ISO 100 and 200. But they didn't have. And this place had what they sell is professional 35 mil film, which costs 300 bucks. I got three of them because you never know. I might just mess up and it's better to be safe than sorry, right? I don't know what just happened, but I messed up my film roll. It jammed, and once it jammed, I, I became very ungentle about it. But I think I ripped the film inside. So what I need to do now is really just take it out and call it a day with that one and insert my new film and redoing this whole thing, getting more shots. Hopefully I don't mess this one up because if I do, that means I have one more chance to get it right. Guys, I jammed it and just doesn't want to like click. This guy right here stuck, like I can't do anything. I don't want to ruin it like I did the one before. So I'm going to roll it back, take it out and insert the last roll. And this is literally feels like I just wasted 900 bucks. Yeah, last roll, last. On a lighter note, let me say it's, it's a beautiful sunset. We haven't had sunset all day. All of a sudden the rain went away and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to use this opportunity to come up here and take some photos. I don't know what to do now. I'm going to put in the last one, take a couple of photos. If it jams again, I'm just going to take all the three films and get them developed and see what comes out. But besides that, this is my last chance, guys. I wish I could do them land right now. But I can't do that, so anyway. So yeah, we filled up the film. So now it's time to figure out how to get it developed. I don't know where or what or how this process works. But yeah, let's figure it out. Maybe I should actually just make the phone call right now. First thing that I did was I went to cameras to get the film taken out of the camera because it was stuck again. You might have to bring me the dog bag. Mm -hmm. uh, Guys, thank you so much for helping. Yeah, from, but uh, no, what I'm saying is, the guide cameras then told me that the best place to get the film developed was a place called RGB Pixels. So I guess that's that. I just dropped off the film, and it takes three days to get it developed. Yeah, we shall see how it turns out. Photos have over the time evolved to digital, which means that we have access to them. Whenever you want to take a photo, you just snap away. With the film, it's nostalgic in a manner that allows you to care about the photos that you're taking. This is because you take a photo with such intent. You only have an opportunity to take 30 to 36 photos. So each photo must matter. There's no, I'm gonna take photos of you guys individually, man. I hope that's okay, yeah? Yeah. That's fine. Oh, wait. 
What's beautiful about this process is that each photo, even though some of them came out horribly so, they tell a story behind them. As much as some of the stories you don't see, but I see. Over the duration of the time of me taking these photos, I've developed a love for photography. Thank you so much again for watching another video, until I see you in the next one.